Now, music and theatre is a way of life for Somalis, and British Somali singer, songwriter Armanta has chosen this medium to raise awareness about the dangers of coming to Europe as an illegal migrant. He recently visited a refugee camp, and I asked him what he saw. <laughs> I met a lot of young people, um, as well as um, the, the older generations or their parents, who are quite a lot worried about the fact that quite a lot of them, their friends or family members, try to cross uh, borders and seas in order to get to Europe, and surprisingly even, um, even Yemen as well. And you yourself have a family member who's made this dangerous crossing and has arrived in Italy. Tell us a little bit about his journey. My first cousin was detained in Libya after he tried to uh, cross um, to Italy. Eventually he made it, but the suffering was quite a lot because he was detained. He was in Libya for about two years, and he's the reason why I made this song. <laughs> Um, which became synonymous with this issue and uh, became a theme of anti-human trafficking for Somalis and then eventually the UNHCR picked it up and this is how I got involved in the campaign. And of course it's not just going there to tell them about how dangerous this crossing is. You've also been out there making music with some of these refugees. Tell us about, tell us about that. And surprisingly, these camps that I went to, um, they were some of the founding uh, members of some of the best Somali music uh, bands from the 1980s and 90s. People whose music that I actually um, I looked up to and they were like my musical heroes and it was really uh, shocking for me to see in these situations and the best thing that I could do was to go back and to work with them. It was just really a way of me also showing that you can come from outside, but also there are artists in these camps that, that have, a, in my opinion, really a better message to tell. It was really rewarding to work with them. If you had a younger brother who was back home and said he wanted to make this dangerous crossing, to Europe, what would be your advice to him? I would say uh, before you get to uh, even Libya, you would have to go through uh, Sudan and there are serious issues there. And then from the Sudan to Egypt and the deserts there. And people in these countries also, they don't, they see you as a money making uh, scheme. So I would say think twice about it. Armanta there.